Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, I'm kind of excited. Today is my first tag video. So um, Emily Noel 83 um, recently did a tag called My Beauty Evolution. So basically the premise of the tag is to pick a time period and then pick five ways that your beauty routine has changed. So I was trying to think um, what I wanted my time period to be and I finally decided about a year and a half ago I went to Target with Jeremy and I picked up um, goody spin pins I don't know if you guys remember when those were pretty popular and I came back home and he had to go into school or something and I was like in my bathroom like trying to get these things to work and I just could not figure it out for the life of me so I googled how to use goody spin pins and the first thing that popped up was a video and I clicked on it and it was this beautiful girl and she was filming herself in her bathroom putting these spin pins on and I just couldn't believe that this girl was filming herself. And it happened to be Emily and that is kind of when I discovered that there was this whole beauty community on YouTube. And I think that night I just watched just dozens and dozens of her videos. I just thought it was the coolest thing. And then through there I found, you know, um, other people who had commented or that she had subscribed to so that is kind of the time period about a year and a half ago that I'm going to talk about how things have changed with either my skincare or um, my makeup so first things first I'm going to start with exfoliation I used to I always wanted that like you know lit from within really glowy and dewy skin and I thought the only way to get there was like extreme exfol exfoliation so I would buy whatever face scrubs I could and like the rougher the better if it felt like a porcupine was like rubbing against my skin then it must be doing something right um, and I just never got that look that I wanted and then in January of this year through like a long story which maybe I'll go through when I do a skincare video I completely retooled my whole skincare regime and I found um, alpha hydroxy acid through Paula's Choice. So this one right here is the 8% AHA and I use this after I wash my face every night. So I'll wash my face and then I'll put a little bit of this gel on and then I'll put like a pretty um, thick moisturizer before I go to bed. And basically what this is doing, it's just removing that top layer of skin so then that new fresh skin can show forth. And this just absolutely, the difference between this and trying to like scrub it off with an exfoliator is just completely, I don't it's kind of hard to compare. So I do this every night and then once a week, I use her weekly resurfacing treatment and this is 10%, so it's just a little bit more. So this is kind of heavy duty, so I only use this once. And then I just make sure to use extra moisturizer. And I really, you know, when I use this, I usually use it on like Saturday nights. You know, when I wake up on Sunday, my skin is just glowing and it feels really smooth. Um, so I, if you haven't checked out AHAs, I would definitely recommend it. And I maybe I'll talk a little bit more about Paula's Choice and my skincare in a whole video, and I'll just do that. Next thing, before the beauty YouTube community, I really thought I was too fair skinned for bronzer. Like I didn't want to look fake and orange, so I never really bothered with it. And then, you know, I would watch girls who were, you know, almost just as fair as I would be. And, you know, bronzer was like a big part of their morning routine. So I started using it and I really haven't looked back. I don't use a lot of it and I just kind of use it on like the outside of my face to contour a little bit, but it's almost like it just helps my skin look healthier and then I don't have to use as much foundation because it just kind of gives my skin that like even healthy look. So the two that I reach for most, one is from Rimmel and this is Sunlight and then the other one is NARS's Laguna. And both of them, whichever one I reach for, I usually always use this Eco Tools bronzing brush and it's just super dense and it's just really good to cover a lot of space without taking a lot of time in the morning. So that's number two. So number three, I never, ever, ever um, lined my waterline. I thought my eyes were too small, my eyes were too watery, I just couldn't do it. And I would watch a lot of videos and see, oh wow, that makes a huge difference. It just takes, you know, like a regular daytime look and just makes it all of a sudden look really sultry, you know, for going out or for a date night. So I started, you know, testing out a lot of different things and I just couldn't really find a pencil that would work for me. And I believe on um, Makeup Geek TV, I watched her dip just a regular eyeliner pencil into a pot of cream eyeliner. And I tried it, and it just works amazing. And the one that works the best for me is the Wet n Wild 
cream eyeliner. So I'll just dip my pencil into that and get a little bit on the tip and then just run that inside my waterline and it stays all day. And I do have very watery eyes so sometimes I'll get a little bit of wearing at the corner, you know where your eyes water. But really for the most part I rarely have to retouch this so I was quite excited to figure that out. Okay, so now we're on to number four. Um, before a year and a half ago, I really, you know, I think I had like maybe two brushes in my, I just never really thought anything was that important. Anything I could do with like a sponge tip applicator and, you know, just like the little sponges that come with powders from the drugstore. And, you know, really, you know, watching YouTube videos, I really started to understand the importance of blending and a brush's role in that. So I'm just, I have dozens and dozens of brushes now, but I'm just gonna show you three of my favorites. The first is from EcoTools. It doesn't have a name. It came in like a little pack of like five eye brushes. This is what I use for blending out like a crease color or sometimes if I'm, you know, just want to like a quick like soft brown in my crease, I'll just put that on it and just run it through with like windshield wiper type motions. And I love this brush. And then I've mentioned this in a couple of favorites videos, but this is the Smashbox eyeliner pencil. It's the um, eyeliner brush and it's the one with the tipped, um, tilted head. This just makes putting on cream eyeliner for me so much easier, and I was so happy to have discovered this. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is the Sigma, and this is the F50, and I use this to put on my blush in the morning. So, um, just in the past year and a half, I've really discovered you know, the role that um, brushes can play and just making your makeup look more professionally done and a lot easier in application. All right, so on to number five. Um, pretty much like all growing up and you know into college, I would only wear lip gloss. And in college, I found this one color from Clinique and sadly it's been discontinued, but I would just repurchase that same lip gloss over and over and I wasn't very adventurous. And you know, about a, about a year ago, um, I started you know being more into photography and I realized that um, pictures that I took where, you know, people were wearing, you know, brighter color lipsticks, they would just kind of add that pop into pictures and really just bring attention to the face. So I bought my first red lipstick and that was um, Max Russian Red. And I still remember the first time I wore it out and I felt so weird, like everyone was staring at me. I think I actually got it on Jeremy's shirt by accident at dinner one night. It was just kind of a mess. Um, and it's kind of what Emily said in her video, sometimes it's just about getting used to seeing yourself in a different way. It was weird seeing myself with these bright red lips. But since then, I have just discovered my love for lipsticks. It definitely started with MAC, and I have quite a few that I really love. And then recently, um, I've discovered the Revlon, the Color Burst ones at the drugstore, and I love these. It's specifically the um, Soft Nude, I wear that all the time. So I'm very happy to have found lipsticks and just add some more fun color into my makeup routine. All right, so that is my five things that I had to share with you. Um, thanks to Emily for starting this tag. And if you guys have done this tag as well, please let me know. I would love to watch yours. So until next time, bye.